Alright guys, I'm gonna have to make this quick, okay? I'm afraid that somebody's after me, okay? I believe this is the end, okay? I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life after this, so... I don't know guys, I'm really scared. I'm really scared. I don't know what the hell's gonna end up on my tombstone. I don't know what it's gonna say. But if anything, to stay positive, I want my tombstone to have something like... To say a motto, like something, like something on the Declaration of Independence, like the pursuit of happiness, which you guys should know already is one of my most important beliefs is that the Declaration of Independence said that you should always believe that you can find your own happiness, okay? Now, for those who don't know, I'm an American citizen of the United States, okay? I'm an American, not Spanish. Everybody thinks I'm an illegal alien, but I'm not an illegal alien, all right? I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm an American. I'm a little bit crazy, I know. So, I mean, I guess I'm an American psycho, you know, but that's okay. I mean, that's what people want to think about me. They also think that I'm always hanging around small children. But in fact, I like being around small children because they're very uplifting and positive. So people always assume that I'm a predator when indeed I'm not a predator. I don't know why people assume they, they think I'm a predator just because I hang around children. But I do know a couple of predators and I don't want to talk about them because they have a lot of uh, heat on me. And I, I, just, I just don't want to do that, okay? If I had to name somebody that has a lot of heat on me, it would probably be my friend John Wick. He's just a guy that I just don't want to talk shit about. In fact, he told me if I ever snitch on him, he says, you're going to live a life that's real hard. In fact, he goes, your life's going to be really difficult that you'll die hard. And I told him, no, I won't die hard. Because if you think you can snitch on me as well, you'll die hard too. And he told me, well, your family's going to snitch on them as well. And that they'll die hard with a vengeance. And I told him, well, I believe we have a choice. To either live free or die hard. I've said too much, guys. I know he's going to come after me. Mr. Wick is going to go ahead and kill me for snitching on him, guys. I'm afraid that even my girlfriend's endangered. Hell, even my ex, too. My ex, too, might be endangered, too. I told her that I think I might actually have to do the thing, which is to aboard some kind of way to get out of here, some kind of transportation. I told her, I don't know what I'm going to, I don't know how the hell I'm going to get out of here. Maybe I'll take a method of transportation on, I don't know, maybe planes, trains, or automobiles. I don't know. I, I told them, hey, just do me a favor. Tell Dick and Jane I'm sorry, but please, for the love of God, don't tell anybody that I might get killed. So just go have fun with Dick and Jane, okay, please? But apparently some people do hold the grudge on you, and it's sad because, you know, I can't believe it. I mean, why would they hold the grudge on me? To me, I view them as the strangers, okay? They're just people I never even knew. But you know what? I think in their life, they took a wrong turn once in their life. They probably made some bad decisions. And you know what? They got to learn that they're all children and that they can learn from something from their mistakes. It's all child's play to them. And you know what, guys? I don't care because I am legend. What the hell did I just make? I made that. Look at all these movies, man. What am I doing?